What's up party people? G5 Productions in the place to be Superman first class in the mix. Today I'm going to take you on a tour of what it takes to set up for a concert. Let's do it. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I'm Gerald. I'm here on The Great Place and tomorrow Friday and Saturday is going to be a three-day event full of live entertainment plus G5 get to mix it up So shout out to my man Bruce for being a part of this Roundup right here is going to be awesome and the event is titled Salute to our military so I'm excited because I am a former active duty soldier so now a veteran and uh, You know what nothing like DJing for the soldiers and seeing them just enjoying themselves with their families friends the community and all of that Right, so it's always an honor to be a part of something like this plus they're gonna be a host of celebrities So you guys can check out the flyer in my Facebook post if I don't insert it in this video somehow, but either way, let's get to the tour, right? So go ahead, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and of course, if you don't mind keeping up with all the videos, go ahead, rock that bell. Let's do it. Okay, party people, so starting with the back of the building right here, it's primarily used for hospitality, and in the parking lot, even though there are a lot of cars right here, there won't be so many here tomorrow, because usually all the artists come with tour buses and trailers and downloading their gear and stuff like that to go right up this ramp area so when i come back tomorrow i'll be parked somewhere back here and then of course i'll get to go right through this ramp area here and load onto the stage now on the great place they call this hood stadium so there's a football field there's some bleachers over there and then this is a hydraulic stage and this thing is massive right and uh sorry i didn't get you guys no footage of uh the stage actually going up but you know what they were probably here early this morning or even yesterday probably dealing with that but here's uh the doors to you know where artists are going to be coming out of the hospitality or the door on the other side and what they typically do is although this building has its own stage here it's really not accommodating for a very large live setup so most uh companies that come here will bring a hydraulic trailer like this right it all folds and uh you know compact and they put all the stuff in it and you know go but anyways here it is here's where the magic happens y'all all sorts of cables cases lighting and i can tell you right now there's a lot of money hanging from that rig but guess what there's a lot of rigs up there so look at all this money it takes a lot of highly skilled very intelligent people to pull something like this off and everybody's working as uh, safely as they can work even putting out cable runners and stuff like that so the front of the house is going to be mixing right there at the goal post and uh, typically it's common to put up barriers so the crowds can only get so close to the stage because you guys know how it gets uh, for safety wise with people trying to come up you know sometimes for celebrities and then of course there's speakers and whatever that uh the sound teams they just don't want anybody climbing up on or bothering so you know safety all around so that's what it takes a lot of monitors going to be placed here right all these cases are generally for lighting especially uh by the brand on the cases so that that hints to all of the movers up there and man that's a lot of money up there i'm telling you so what's all happening over here well typically you have uh cutouts and openings where they on the side of it they'll put like a a monitor engineer in there and live sound and stuff like that and then on this side sometimes they set up additional trailers to house uh band members but it all depends on you know how it works a lot of uh considerations so tie downs to keep uh things like this from getting really windy and picking up and you know you got just all kind of stuff here right so this is what it takes though so gotta be safe and uh since i'm gonna be up there i definitely want it to be safe but anyways this is a ground view so a lot of party people are gonna, gonna be chilling on this grass some will be chilling up there on hood stadium and uh outside on the back side of the stadium they're set up for a carnival so when i get closer to that way i'll actually get you some footage but in the meantime um this is what it takes and i just want to say hats off one to the people who uh, sponsored this because sometimes Fort Hood does get some very generous people to pretty much pay for or donate services like this for the soldiers and that's one of the privileges as a veteran that I 
have uh, being a part of this for one and then getting access to meet all these different celebrities that come through but most of all just doing what I love to do which is DJing and you know, having fun being in my element right and the gloves are off they let me do me you know they just give me a little script to make announcements here and there but as far as the mix go if I want to mix a country song with dubstep I do it because who's gonna say otherwise but anyways, uh, this is what it is. And uh, so they got some kind of battery powered speaker here. So let's see what's going on with that. Let's see, what is this thing? All right. Sony. There you go, DJs. Potential uh, battery powered speaker for your ceremonies maybe all right so there it is everybody front of the stage a lot of battery power tools makes the job go quicker that's what it takes subwoofers we got some JBL cabinets some JBL line arrays right there I'm not sure the specific model numbers but uh and the stage is a uh, stage line SL320 Wow a lot of work going on here y'all so but this is what it takes now usually on for hood when these happen um they get soldiers you know that volunteer to come on out and help you know helping hands so not sure what the tents here are going to be used for exactly but the soldiers are dealing with those so more road cases they like to hide stuff under the stage which makes sense you know we need to see where the snacks and the water at because i am getting a little parched it is a bit warm today so uh hydration is always a must but Look at that. They got all kind of uh, spider boxes for powering different stuff on the stage. This is not your typical, you know, DJ extension cord with a power strip, <laughs> you know. So all these cables got to be patched in to some hardcore electricity right here. There it is. <laughs> so, yeah, a lot of juice coming through there. But here we go. We got the hospitality room. You got preparations going on in there. Check out the pup. Check out the party people. My man Carl right there. All right. Got the crew. Everybody just kicking. That's right. That's all right. Take your break. Yeah. See, it's nice and cool in here. These rooms through the hallway here, they're generally used for when the uh, artists come in, they chill for a little bit. And then they set up hospitality back here so there'll be all kinds of food. Uh, this is my section. Marta working hard over there, making it happen. So yeah, that's the tour of the live sound so far. Let's go back outside so we can finish where we started. So there it is, party people. That's what it takes to set up for concerts. As you can see, there's a lot of moving parts, a lot of safety considerations, a lot of people working behind the scenes before all the party people show up. And it is very uh, sunny out today. So definitely uh, putting in some sweat. As you can see, I'm a little sweaty and all I did was walk around and vlog. So I'm trying to get to this shade right here right quick so I can finish this video off. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and smash that like button. Subscribe to our channel and to keep up with all these videos, all you got to do is rock that bell. If you have any questions for me, put them down in the comment section below. And uh, that's my world for today. Reconning the concert setup. It's going to be a three-day event. Salute to the military. And uh, we're going to have a lot of fun here, y'all. So that's it. Peace. <laughs>